Hey guys, I am back with another fishing adventure for you guys today, so stay tuned. So before we head to the pond, I just want to give you guys a real quick tip to catch more fish. So we all know that pond fishing can be very difficult to catch fish. So the real advantage to catching these, these stubborn fish in ponds is to show them something that they have never seen before. Because I mean, these fish in these ponds have seen all sorts of different worms, craws, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, you know, you name it. They've, they've seen those lures. So to really get an advantage to catch more fish at these local ponds is to throw something that they haven't seen before. In terms of what they've never seen before, it could mean, you know, the presentation of a worm that you give them, of a craw, you know, any type of soft, soft bait or hard bait, the presentation plays a huge key, or if it's just a totally different lure. I mean, something, something that they haven't seen is gonna give you a better percentage to catch more fish at these ponds than say throwing your same old like robo worm or or something that these fish have seen plenty of times. I mean, you may be catching fish on what you're doing, but you can catch more fish giving them something that they haven't seen before. So some good examples of throwing different presentation example is like maybe throwing a shaky head. A little shaky head. I mean, I love throwing a shaky head. Most of the lakes in Arizona are pretty rocky, so the shaky head is just perfect for that, those kinds of conditions. If you're fishing at a pond where you know people are throwing shaky heads and or like drop shots and maybe maybe a, a subtle Texas rig or I've even put them on trailers and caught fish like that with certain worms you can get a tail like this is a straight tail but some some like robo worms they have more of a uh, paddle-ish looking tail and that'll often kick and you can catch fish like that. Um, another cool presentation I have here is essentially a VMC glide jig that I've just homemade. I just took a jig head and soldered it onto to a willow leaf blade here and what this does is when it's falling in the water it's not just falling straight down like that and sticking in the air it's gliding down hence the glide bait and it is spiraling all the way down to the floor and this will trigger a lot of bites because it's something the fish are not used to seeing so when they see this it, you know it can mimic a dying bait fish but it really just grabs their attention and it's there you know, gets their attention to go bite that, and they got their bass are very curious animals, so they got to go investigate, and usually that ends up with a bite. So, here's one I made with a Colorado blade. You can see there, it's not the prettiest thing, but it sure does work. I've caught plenty of fish on it. Whenever you guys go fish your local ponds and stuff, you try and see what other people are throwing, and then totally throw something totally different because chances are they've already seen what that other person's throwing so I mean the real key to catching these bass in local ponds is just to give them something that they have never seen before and that a lot of times will trigger their curiosity and you guys will get much more bites which means much more fish Ooh. Yeah, little one right there. Dang, little guy on the chatterbait. Just a tiny guy. Oh, got one. Yep, there's one. He's decent. 
Ooh, look at him. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. First fish of the day. Right there, little guy. Just throwing chatterbait. He's all right, I think. Oh yeah, he's okay. Whew, that was pretty sweet. Been here for what, five minutes? <laughs> Got one? No, you're just stuck. No. Oh, you got one. Yeah. You got a fish. Little guy, but two little guys for the day. Ooh, right in the eye. Again. Ooh, poor guy. I'm an eye hooker. Poor guy. It's all right. He'll live. Oh. Go. Oh, nice. That's nice. a nice one. Nice. nice. Woohoo! On the popper right there. That's a nice one. Don't have a net. No, that's okay. I'll get him with my hands. Woo! That was awesome to watch a blow up on that popper. That was so cool. That was the coolest thing to watch a blow up on that popper. He just got a mouthful of that popper. <clears throat> Look at that. Face full of popper. Oh. Woo. Just full of popper. Got the pliers. Third fish of the day. Good pound and a halfer. Good fish there, guys. All right, let's quickly let him go. Sure he wants to go back. Oh yeah, he's good. There he goes. That was a nice freaking fish. Little one? Yeah, you got a little one, nice. Ooh, that one felt good. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Little guy. Just a tiny guy. Sounded pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Fish number five. Bonk. Are you sure they're fish? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do got one. Nice. He's got a fish. Little one. Oh, he's got salad all over him. Little guy. Nice. Oh, looking good. Yeah, he was not going anywhere. Right through the gill plate. Good catch. Hold him up. Woo! Oh, got one. Good job. Little guy. Another giant fish. Oh, hit it, hit it again. I think the weed on my hooks deterred him. Oh, baby. Uh, he's not a giant, but he's a good size one right here. He's bigger than what we caught before.
He's a good two pounder. That was sweet. That was like as soon as it hit the water, he was up on it. Whew. That's a nice fish. Alrighty, alrighty. Seven. Good sizer. I was like, as soon as it hit the water, he was on it. Poppers. Oh, got another one. Another decent one. Oh no, he's he's all right. Hold on, big guy. That was beautiful. Little guy. I'll take him. It's a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. God, that was such a bad cast. I'm trying to get as close to that little patch as I can. Oh, doing all this freaking weeds on there. There we go. Oh, hit it. There he goes. Oh, yep. Got him. Oh, he's fighting like a giant, but he's just a little guy. Got another one. Number eight. Oh, that sucks.